Okay guys, was a long time no see. We're back in. Last time we finished the sound effects. We hop right back into After Effects uh, this time. So this is what we got, our project um, with all the finished editing. Today we're gonna talk about the rendering and adding the sound effects. So what you do first is we check if all sounds are off because we did the whole SFX in Vegas so we just need to turn off everything so we just go on the first layer to the bottom shift and select it and then just click on this button so you see there's no sound anymore what we do next is we choose our audio or mp3 um, wherever you rendered it you just drag it in from Vegas and that's basically it now we got the edited sound and or edit so now we want to render everything together out as we can see this is the length you can choose the length you want to render uh, by just dragging this little thing right here and this little thing you just drag wherever you want your render region to be so in this case we want to end our edit at this point because this is our last frame we did Okay, if we have this selected, we just click on Composition, right on top, and Add to Render Queue. This is our thing. We add it. So, first of all, you can see here is the Output Module Lossless. Here we can change the format. So, now it really depends on what programs do you have and how do you want to render your edits. There are a couple different ways and um, I personally use a plugin which is named After Codex and if you install the plugin and some other uh, stuff I can link it in the description you can just render out from After Effects in MP4 otherwise you can't really render in MP4 except now it comes you have the media encoder as well the Adobe media encoder this is this one right in here and if you have this little thing you can just click on the composition on the stuff you want to render and then click on Q and AME Adobe Media Encoder and then it pops up right here if you have different versions or it's not getting synced or whatever the best way is to just render it first in AVE uh, it will get a big file but a real good quality file so what I want to give you on the way is just render it in AVE in After Effects even if you don't have the media encoder if you want the best quality I will tell you next why so what we're gonna do is here lossless we can leave everything here except you want to render it um, without background or whatever so just leave it like that and here you can change the output so in that case just change it um, to whatever you want so I just changed it to render to this uh, folder and then I click on save for me it's speichern because I'm German and then you just click on render And this will take um, longer on some PCs. It really depends on your graphic card or whatever. So, yeah, just like that. And now it's finished. Pretty easy. And if that's finished, you can either use, if you have a different version, the media encoder. I will tell you now how this works. So, if you have the media encoder, the same version as your After Effects, everything is synced into. If, uh, have it done you can just click on Q and AME and you don't have to render as AVE before so if you click on Q and AME it, it will be nearly the same as if I just drag it in right here so if you did this you can just have it in AME in the media encoder and you click on this little thing it will uh, be different in English of course then you click on render with a max def and now you can choose the quality, the bitrate, which uh, really depends on what you do. For example, for Instagram or something, it's really enough if you just leave it on 10. But um, in some examples, it's better to go with the, some more quality. If you use, for example, a lot of noise or something, here you can see the uh, file size. Um, I will just crank this up, more bitrate, more quality most of the time. Um, of course, Instagram will um, compromise uh, the, the file as well. So sometimes it's better to have it below 12 or something. And 
in here we can change it to 4k so for youtube it's better to render um in 4k to have the best quality and it's the easiest method in my uh, opinion so you just click on here and here you can change it to 4k so just leave this and make sure to have this on enabled so it scales automatically and change this to 3840 and this is the 4k resolution we want um the next one is just crank this up get some more file size but also some more quality and leave the check right here in maximum render quality and then you click on ok um and you can choose our output as well so in this case pop and then on this little green play button and now as you can see it's getting rendered okay now it's finished we can take a look we have both of these saved in here as you can see one is one gig one is 40 megabytes so we can take a look now at the quality so oh, we take a look as we can see this is the 4k one and it's pretty clean good quality okay now we take a look at the AV of course AV is a bit better most of the time but in this case you won't really have much of a difference okay now the last step is um, if you don't have the media encoder and you can't drag it in right here as I said you can use either the after codex as I said before I can do a, a tutorial on that as well if you want to but in other case you can just download software like handbrake if you got handbrake you can just drag the AV in here right like this and now you can choose if you want uh, the frame rate to be exactly the same because we used some other same as sources the best and here you can also choose the quality so and then as well as the other ones you can choose the path and don't forget to put in mp4 on here and then you just click on encoding start it's really fast and yeah i will show you the uh, result as well okay now we're done and it's right here as you can see the quality is also really good you have some pixels um you can avoid those pixels if you put the quality a bit higher than i did but as you can see it's much uh, smaller file size if you want the best of the best quality use ave and put it on youtube in 4k you can also uh, switch the resolution uh, in after effects by just click on the composition for example or you render it as um, full hd so this is our full hd one so what we're gonna do is simply just drag it in after effects if you want to rescale it drag it on this little icon which creates a new composition on the length and then we go on tutorial and we're gonna change this value to uh, first you can put this and up like this now we just uh, go on the effects and presets and we search for scale detail preserving upscale and then we click on comp width and as you can see it scales automatically to the end and we can add a sharpen to that and an unsharp mask to give it some some more cleanness all right just like that and then you just render it as the other one as well file will get a bit bigger but um yeah you have a really good quality then all right i will do some further tutorials if you want to and just uh, let me know in the comments what you want to know all right, see you soon.